What's up gamers and welcome to a new episode of Seven Nights. That's right. Once again, we're going to go ahead and get into some new hero spotlights. Today is going to be the Phoenix Empress Eileen. Yes, she is now finally awakened. So a lot of people have been looking forward to this. I have myself. Now, Eileen hasn't been someone that I would say is one of my favorites, but I do use her in other modes such as Raid, Castle Rush, things of that nature. Um, so, you know, she's pretty solid, and then she's also decent in PvP, but I, I typically don't really use her in Arena at all. Uh, but let's take a look at what the difference is. We'll go ahead and take a look of, you know, what our abilities look like, and then we'll do a little bit of combat in the Arena. Alright, so, I mean, the big differences here is, um, we'll start with her passive skill. So, um, after she does what she would normally do as far as, like, um, her Incarnation of Flames ability, which is the top skill you're reading... It's the same thing except it decreases all enemies' recovery rate by 40%. So basically healing becomes a little less effective. So this is typically good more against um, the... It can be good in Arena, I mean, depending if, so, if your opponent's running Lena or something like that. Uh, but it's especially okay in the Celestial Tower if you're going up against, you know, uh, a computer that has, you know, a healer like Lena, who seems to be the best healer. From what I can tell these days. Um, by the way, speaking of Celestial Tower, right now there is an event going on. That's been going on for a while. Um, where the enemies are actually weaker in a Celestial Tower. So this is a really good time to bump up your rank. I'll even show you where I'm at. Well, anyway, um, back to Eileen. Her second active, or her actual active skill, uh, Lightning Spear. Um, basically the same thing as usual. It's 100% physical damage of three enemies. Um, the difference is that piercing damage will be taking effect. Uh, and of course reduces enemies buff duration for two turns. So the fact that piercings involved is good. That's more guaranteed damage. You know. Uh, and then of course the other active skill, Powerful Bolt. This is a fixed damage ability. So she inflicts 1500 fixed damage at all enemies three times. Um, and then of course she keeps the Electrify ability on this skill. Now, on the Lightning Spirit, in the old days, that also used to do electrical, um, or electrified, um, debuff, but it, does, it stopped doing that, um, with her most recent update, so she no longer can be electrifying all the time. And then, of course, her Awaken skill, it affects 100% physical damage on all enemies two times, and inflicts damage equal to 30% of the target's match HP. So basically, she deals all of her damage, and then an additional 30% of their max, which is pretty cool. Um, and also, um, it decreases their awakening gauge by a fixed amount. So basically what it really boils down to is when she activates her awakening skill, if your opponent has an awakening skill ready to be used, it won't be ready to be used. It'll take a little more time for them to be able to use again. That's really what it boils down to. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of Eileen's um, abilities and how they look like. And then we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of arena so you can kind of see her in action. So uh, let's take it out. So right now we're going to go ahead and go to my heroes. I mean, obviously I have Eileen, so I'll go ahead and just select her. And then we'll kind of pick her here. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put the volume to a, uh, a comfortable level where you can actually hear what she says. So... Uh, go ahead. I hope you guys will uh, like the new uh, sound ability. So let's take a look. So preview time. It's too late. Your death is imminent. So her moves look decent. You cannot escape heaven's judgment. It is a little more violent. <laughs> They're awakening skill now. I will carry on the will of immortality. And those are her three uh, skills right there. So that's pretty much all we're gonna see there. And then right now, what we'll do is a little bit of uh, PvP. Uh, with her as the star, and then we'll we'll kind of just make up a team and kind of go from there. Uh, just like we did last time. I'm not, I'm not gonna do like an all offensive or an all uh, 
universal. I think I'm just gonna have fun. And I think I'm just gonna make up the ladies. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, since I want her to be the main damage dealer, I'm gonna put her in the back row as soon as I find her. So we're not gonna use my regular PvP team. My guildmates are probably gonna fight me right now and be like, why is he using this group of heroes? This is not a, his original team. <laughs> Uh, we're just going to be different. We're actually going to use her as a healer, because why not? Uh, like I said, we're just doing the ladies this time. It's ladies night. Uh, actually, I actually haven't used Yuri in a long time, and I actually do like her. We'll make her another uh, DPS. And I've always liked Pia, but she hasn't really been so great in PvP lately. Now, Ballista I do like. I'll just go ahead and throw her in. And uh, what's another good female for PvP? Like I said, there's no like rhyme or reason for any of this. I'm gonna actually do uh, Alicia since she's actually level 50, and she also prevents you know um, status effects for a few turns. So I think this is gonna be the team I'm gonna use. Oh, I should be using the twins actually. Oh yeah, you know what? Sorry, Yuri. We're gonna use the twins because why not? And no, they're not. I haven't really pushed for their uh, equipment to go up yet. Um, I just haven't taken the time to do it. Although, I should just do it now. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I got the gold and stuff, so... I may not have enough. If I do have enough, yeah. I have plenty of gold in Awakening card, so... There we go. Now her defense is up. I do need to still power up her offense. So we'll go ahead and uh, get that done real quick. We'll make her a little more worth using. Unlike last time. <laughs> Maybe they can get a good spotlight too. So this is basically how you want to make your heroes stronger. Just power up their items, awaken those items, and go from there. And yeah, there's tons of ways these days to get lots of gold. I mean, this game's been very generous lately with uh, all the gifts they've been doing for everyone. Just giving away everything. There we go. And it is worth uh, powering up bronze. Uh, the twins, I'll just say, because they're just ridiculous in PvP uh, for Arena. Now, I'm going to be honest, as far as uh, Arena's concerned for Eileen, I will be honest and say that I'm not completely impressed with the preliminary test that I did with her. Oscar on my Universal team, I really wasn't impressed with a lot of people are using her, so maybe it's just me not me being bad at the game, I don't know. I'm just not feeling, oh, you know what? I don't really want to use Ballista, believe it or not. I kind of want to use Neza. I really like Neza. I've always been a fan of her. Let's see. Yeah, that's going to be my team. Yeah, there we go. I'm cool with that. All right, let's arena loop it, ladies and gentlemen. It's arena time. And with Awakened Eileen. My Eileen is now level 46, by the way, if you cannot tell. Unable to proceed with the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, by the way, yes, everyone, I do know what I messed up last time. And I'm going to show you what I didn't understand the first time. So when you're picking your leader, you have to go to leader settings. Uh, you actually have to select it on both of them. It, even though you see it there, like one person blue, one person red, you have to physically select someone on each side. So in this case, for uh, defense, I'm going to put Neza. And then for offense, uh, since we are showcasing Eileen, we're going to do her and go from there. Come to me. Oh, again, it's dramatic. Of course my opponent using the twins, because why wouldn't you? The twins are really fantastic in Arena. I noticed that Eileen's damage sound was really annoying. <laughs> There's there, Eileen. I mean, it's an all lead on my team, just buffing, buffing, and buffing. Oh, this would be bad. Yeah, 
gives him no offense on my side at all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, my Eileen's done nothing this game. <laughs> the thundering cry of light will pierce through By the way, Orly, I am actually working on boosting in the background. I'm going to be making a mage team soon, so uh, that will be coming soon. It'll be a while, though, like maybe a few months. <laughs> Can someone use their active skill instead of a bunch of buffing? <laughs> Yeah, that sounds really annoying when I don't get hit. I forgot to make that mark. So apparently I'm still showing off the twins more than my clean since he just died. We're getting to use the skill twice because we got some kills. Yeah, the twins are just really good. And they're very durable. <laughs> Well, I think what I am going to do, I might change this team up a little bit and instead of making it just ladies night, I might put a defensive person on here just to kind of give them a fighting chance. <laughs> we'll see. Well, at least my opponent's doing my work for me. <laughs> oh, this is, this is pretty much it right here. Or not. There we go. We'll do one more fight and see if anything changes here. Target terminated. You know, the sad thing about me doing these videos is like when I'm showcasing heroes, I use like the worst team <laughs> and I make, I, I have like a rate. Like for example, I might be like 15 and one. And then by the time the video's over, I'm like 16 and like five. <laughs> I completely messed up my ranking. Yeah, this is the kind of team that needs a good defense. <laughs> Oh, my nose is getting killed easily. Which is funny because of my regular arena team, my nose takes forever to die usually. <laughs> I know you might I don't know, do something now that my twins are uh never mind you just got silenced. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe that I do an active skill, but nope. I lied. I am a complete liar. No, actually we're all healed now thanks to Lena, so they should be able to do Eileen should be doing something now. Like right now, right now. I will carry on There we go. 
There we go. Oh, that sound he makes is annoying. <laughs> Feel the difference. Oh. Alright, we're pretty much lost. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the free the clip short. Uh, this is obviously a crappy team. I don't feel like completely decimating my record, but maybe if I uh, redo my arrangement here, let me actually put some better, you know, heroes on here. Let me do a little bit of adjusting here. I'm still gonna make Eileen, you know, the main spotlight, but uh, I gotta change a few things because this is not working. <laughs> Let's see, where is Rudy? I hear he's okay in a defensive kind of team. You know, I've actually seen, when I first saw the, um, you know, Eileen being put on the list of updates, I looked at the message board and there was a lot of hate about the new Eileen. There, a lot of people are saying that she sucks. Uh, now, I don't know how I feel about her right now. I might be better off using Evan, to be honest. Yeah, I'm just gonna use Evan. But, um... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Like, it's just not happening. Like, people are just... They say that her abilities are much worse in every other game mode for some reason. Uh, which isn't really cool. Not cool at all. Let's see. What do I want to do here? I'm gonna take out the twins, even though the twins are, like, a beast. But I'm really trying to make... Well, you know what? Hmm. No, no, no. We'll leave the twins in. I just, well, no, no. We're, we're gonna try to not us. depend on the twins here. We're gonna be a little more defensive so Eileen can get a little more spotlight. Let's see if this is any better. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people are hating on her. And I leveled up, hey, there you go. And basically you get keys for leveling up. And then of course, uh, every five levels, I believe it is, your masteries become cheaper, uh, depending on your next tier of getting you know your mastery which honestly up in your mastery is always a great idea it will make your fight 10 times easier in every mode it's arguably the best thing you could possibly do is mastering your mastery <laughs> so sorry it's not a ladies night anymore <laughs> Yeah, my main complaint really with Eileen isn't really her skills. It's really just the simple fact that she sounds annoying when she's getting hit. And it's so obvious too. That oh, that you keep hearing, that's Eileen. <laughs> Is maybe worse? I don't know. Like I, I, again, I'm not feeling her really in arena, but what really matters is when it comes to Eileen is really Castle Rush and things like that. Uh, if she's worse there, then yeah, I got a problem with her. Yeah, she is kind of sucking though, and she's level 46, and I went awakened up her items and everything, and she's just dying. And the sad thing is, when she dies, she auto resurrects. Or I think she still auto resurrects, yeah. Yeah, maybe Eileen sucks. Because at least when I was showcasing, you know, the twins, at least the twins were putting in work. Like, Eileen is really actually sucking. And Eileen's a higher level, or at least my Eileen is a higher level than my twins. So maybe everybody's right. Maybe she does suck in Arena. Oh, 
Either that, or maybe I'm just playing her wrong. Like, maybe I should have her in the front instead of the back. Like, I don't need her to really deal damage. Like, maybe it's my fault. But, I don't know, everybody else seems to think she sucks, and... And honestly, in my test plays with her on my universal team, yeah, she was always the first to die. Yep, goodbye, Evan. <laughs> I only have Evan in really just to give the team an overall boost in defense. So even if he dies, I don't really worry about that. That was a mistake. It took a crescendo. Stronger. But yeah, this is gonna be one of those I'm not gonna win at all type uh, videos here. <laughs> not with these. Te not with this team. So me doing that to my opponent basically keeps them from doing their active skills, or their awakened skills for a while. Now, my Eileen has already did one auto resurrect, and she's already dead. <laughs> she just died. Oh my god. Maybe she does suck. <laughs> I don't- I like to be more positive than negative, but, you know, the proof is in the video. Like, she is not putting in work, I'm sorry. Like, the twins, even though mine were only level 40, they were putting in work. Like, they won games by themselves. But Eileen, though, she is sucking hard. I'm not gonna lie. I am not impressed right now. Now, granted, no, I'm not using, like, the best team I could possibly use. But you would think that she would still be up doing stuff, and it, it's just not happening right now. I don't like to be negative, but, I mean, there's a big difference between what I've been seeing the twins do and what I'm seeing Eileen do. I just realized something. Why are we getting hit with status effects so easily? Like, isn't, um... Alicia supposed to prevent, like, status elements for, like, three times or something? Or did they update her badly? <laughs> like, the only reason I don't stay in bad, dead negative status elements is because of, um, Lena. Although he just put the death debuff back on us. <laughs> But yeah, no, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not impressed with this Eileen. I'm really not. Like, she is just not really doing anything, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so she finally got some skills, which is good. But maybe it could be my fault too, though, because again, this is the people I'm using right now are not people I would normally use in arena. Now Lena's not bad at arena; she's doing defense, you know, with like her and Rudy and uh, Neza. I mean, they're not bad at all. But uh, no, nah, this was just not working. Mm -mm -mm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I'm about to put in a final verdict on Eileen. Like, I'm just not impressed. Like, maybe all the hate mail that I'm seeing about this hero is legit. Like, he just was not putting in work. You know, like I said, I mean, doing a comparison with this video and then the last video that I made of Seven Nights, at least the twins were actually doing something. The twins were at level 40, by the way, at six levels lower, and not even equipped nearly as well as, you know, Eileen was. They were less equipped at a six lower levels. It was doing 10 times better at Arena than the Twins. I mean, I'm sorry, the Twins were doing 10 times better than Eileen, and the Twins are like underpowered as the way that I had them built, you know, during the last video. Like, that's pretty bad. Like, I mean, honestly, Eileen's not really PvP, but you would think her being one of the Seven Knights and her being, you know, Awaken with all these new abilities. You'd think if you had her at a higher level with better equipment, she would at least last a bit longer and 
I don't know, just do a little bit more, but unfortunately, it just wasn't the case. So, uh, all right, well, other than you guys just see me constantly just get defeated, let's go back to my regular team so you can actually see me win. <laughs> I mean, oops, I didn't mean to completely remove her. Actually, she needs to stay in. Let's see. But yeah, I mean, honestly, Eileen is just not... Now, I haven't tested her in Castle Rush or anything like that. I mean, maybe she's still good there, but even the people that have been complaining say she's bad at Castle Rush, too, um, and Raid. Like, supposedly, the Awakened Eileen here is just garbage, according to what a lot of people are saying. Um, and they might be right, you know? And usually, I'm the kind of person that tries to defend that marble and say, well, you know what, um... Just because you guys don't like that person doesn't necessarily mean they're not good. But, um, I don't know. They might be right this time. You know, like, this is kind of sad. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's really, really sad. By the way, I'm trying to remember what my last team setup was. I actually forgot. I'm like, um, who was I using? Oh, by the way, I'm going to make a team with Yan He soon. Uh, Yan He, Orly. It's going to be an all mage team. Or I might do like all mages and maybe one defense, but I haven't really decided. Or all mage and one healer. But I kind of want to make like at least a four mage like team that has to do with like lowering defense and uh, dealing more damage and just basically just, you know, a glass cannon type group uh, just to check it out. So I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But all right, I think I'm just using Chris and Spike. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see. I can't believe I forgot my team. That's pretty sad. All right, there we go. Not every, and my whole squad is not all level 50, but they put in work. All right, so let's see if we actually try to win, but we're just gonna, oh yeah, the leader thing. So here's something that's kind of annoying and it's kind of my fault. It's actually good that it does this. Um, every time you switch up, obviously you got to redo your stuff all over again. Um, I'm okay with it right now because this, I mean, the way that my leadership was set up was really off anyway. So this, this the game kind of stops you and says, hey, you're kind of messing up. All right, let's do one arena fight with my actual team. And let's see what the difference is. What I actually should do, just for the fun of it, I should actually put the twins in this team just for the fun of it. And I bet she'll put in some work too. Like, we could actually do a comparison. I like this idea. I mean, think about this. So this team, and then after this fight, we do, we switch out one of these people for the twins, and then we switch out one of those people for Eileen, and that'll be a legit test, since these are actually legit, you know, PvP teams that I'm playing with right now. Like, this is actually my legit squad. Now, I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to win this fight, but I do a lot better with this team. Although it looks like I'm getting my butt handed to me this fight. Yeah, I plan on getting her right there. Um, uh, my Orly is only level 32 right now. Um, so I've got a long way to go. Uh, i got to push her up to maybe at least 46, maybe 48 before I feel comfortable uh, testing her. I'm probably going to use Yuri. I've always liked Yuri in PvP. I really have. I've been using her forever. Like, when I was first playing the game, if you've seen a lot of my older videos, I've used the crap out of her. Let's see if we can't get, um, a comeback against anti me It might not happen, though. Like, we're really not doing any damage. <laughs> Oh, I actually changed my leader too. I need to go back to Evan as my leader so I can get more defense. Like, I think I've completely like destroyed my arena like setup here. I've been doing a lot of testing in the background and sometimes I forget where my setups are and I just kind of keep going. Well, that's okay. Like after this fight, we're gonna have a little bit of fun here. We're gonna we're gonna really test this out and see. Legitimately, which one is going to be better and by how much of a, mar a margin. And I don't mind spinning rubies to get more attacks in just because, honestly, they've been grinding in this game a lot easier. 
Uh, so, okay, so let's go back to Arena. And what we're going to do is we're going to take someone out. Yeah, because Dellens is actually my leader right now. Let's change that. So we're going to make Evan the leader so I can get a defensive the buff. Between us uh, let's see, your leader, weakness. change. Now, Dellens, I mean, you know, he wouldn't be bad as a leader. I just would rather have the defense. I'm a very defensive player. All right, so what we're going to do first, let's see. Let's get Eileen in there. Now, Eileen should be better in this team. Should be better because of the fact that she, you know, is universal. So she fits the whole, like, universal build. Uh, the question becomes, who do you take out? Because, uh, honestly, there is no one on my team right now that would be good to take out in comparison. But I need to make a decision. So uh, I have to keep in Spike. I have to keep in um, Carl Herring. Chris, I mean, even though I like the fact that he's maxed and he's cool and all, but Chris is someone that I guess I could take out. Because I really like Stun Wukong and I really like Neza. Um, and I'm not saying that Chris is bad or, or worse than them. This is just going to be a preference thing, that's all. Alright, so uh, let's just do one fight here. And this is going to be more of like, you know, how well the team does overall. Even if this team wins and the next team with the... Uh, Twins lose it. It just depends on how the fight goes up as a whole. Wow, oh, Elaine actually did some damage. <laughs> I'm a little impressed. Oh, that sound is so annoying, though. With graceful movement. Orly's actually really good, and I'm gonna push to get more of her. They give up six star special hero selector like, you know, like water lately, so hopefully I can get her up before they stop giving everything away and, you know, start to make that new team I wanna make soon. Oh, Eileen, what are you doing stuff all of a sudden? Now, Marvel's probably like somehow tapping into my game because I'm not streaming this or nothing. This is just a recording, but Marvel's tapping into my phone right now, hearing me talking crap about Eileen. They're like, all right, we're just going to go ahead and make some modifications and uh, make her a little bit better this fight. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I think it's putting in work this fight. It may have just been the team I was using, too. So she's been the star of this match right here. I'm actually kind of impressed right now. I mean, people don't find them with, there's no pushovers. Oh, that death debuff is gonna be killing us soon. Spike might do us in. That's okay, my spike will get them back. <laughs> now, I think that was my lane's first death. So there's a little bit of a thing that happens here. Oh, never mind. It wasn't necessary. So, if a bunch of people die and then some, and then they have the ability to revive themselves, if one of the people that died has an auto revive ability, but Sun Wukong died as well, what will happen is that a Sun Wukong clone will hit 
hit play, and then when a Sun Wukong clone dies, then the revived hero being Eileen will then get revived afterwards. Uh, it's a nice little stack that they do. But yeah, honestly, Eileen was actually the MVP that fight. I'm not gonna lie, she really put in work. I'm a little impressed. All right, let's put the twins in and do a little bit of a comparison. Do a little bit of a test chamber here as well. Like I said, I can waste the rubies. It, rubies are easy to farm. I'm not even tripping. The thundering cry of light will pierce through. Now the twins are at a big disadvantage in my team because they don't get the defensive buff from Carl Harry because uh, they're, you know, the twins are not universal. Also, the twins are not leveled as high as I lead either. Those have been a bit quiet today. But they don't need to be super active or nothing. Well, they were up against 999. Very important to know. I feel like when I'm fighting, I'm always in an episode of Dragon Ball Z. I always start off losing, like I'm always the one taking the damage first. And then eventually I come back and win. Oh, that's how like a good majority of my wins are. I start off losing and come back. It's just the way that my teams are built. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Well, there's one. Oh, there's some of the twins. Now they want to put in work. They are really quiet long enough. I don't worry, our spike will take care of that. We're not worried about an auto revive. See that? Yeah. Like the boss. And then our twins coming in for the kill. Take that. Wow, this is actually a hard call. I mean, granted, Eileen did do a lot more in the last fight. But, um, it's a bit different, though. And the twins just came in later. Now, the twins aren't going to be able to kill Chris because... Um, they would have to be able to remove his auto region, which they can't do. Some Yukon can, but uh, he's already used that move, so he has to wait for it to, the skill to happen again. I mean, he's stunned, so he pretty much won. Wow, that's a hard call, because we won both of them. Uh, they both did stuff. I still think Eileen did a little more. We may have to do another fight with each team. Let's go ahead and just uh, retry, I guess. Do a quick start. Let's do that. We're going to use the twins this time, and then we're going to go back to uh, Eileen and see which one's better. And remember, the twins are at a disadvantage, so they're still six levels lower. So I have to keep that in consideration as well. Oh, they're using an Alina of their own. Man, their Alina is relentless this fight. Only victory lies before me. Coward! Out of my way. And again, we're losing right now, but that could still change. <laughs> so that's how all my fights are. Oh, 
There we go. Lynn's putting in work. There we go. Oh, that sound is so annoying. So, if you do watch this here, my Awaken skill is gone. That's pretty much what Eileen's good for in Arena, is her Awaken skills to stop my Awaken skills from going off. It basically delays it. Is it a big deal? Honestly, that's situational, I'll be honest. I mean, right now it's not a big deal because I don't feel that it's necessary for my abilities to go off, and they'll be able to do it later. But I guess in a clutch type battle, it should make all the difference in the world. It's very situational. Uh oh, now their twins are about to get me. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> they're, running, they're running both the twins and Eileen. They're testing both. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Yep, we're gonna get in a fight again. Oh, that sucks. Their twins got my twins. <laughs> yeah, they put in work. Oh my god. Okay, so here's a good thing. Since my opponent was using both Eileen and the twins, it appears that their twins did a lot more than their Eileen did. Like, their twins really, I think, did more damage overall. My teams are no pushovers. <laughs> Feel the difference. Oh, wow. That defense, though. Oh, I gotta say. <laughs> now we're just up against the twins, which doesn't say a lot. The twins can still take on two people. And they're dead. <laughs> All right, anyway. All right, so now let's try Eileen instead of the twins and see what difference it makes. Sometimes it takes a little bit of comparison and testing to see the difference. There's a lot of variables as well. I mean, you look, whoops, that's the wrong person. <laughs> wrong one. My bad, y'all. There we go. But it does take a lot of testing, but we're just gonna you know, do the best we can with the time that we have today. Alright, let's see if our Eileen puts her work in this fight as well. I mean, honestly, personally, I do feel the twins are better than Eileen in Arena. I think the twins are significantly better. I think Eileen is more situational. Eileen can get in there. I mean, if you put all the best equipment on her and all that good stuff, limit breaker and all that. I mean, she could do some damage, but I still think the twins are probably better. And Eileen's damage sound is annoying. And for that fact, <laughs> I think that's probably the reason why I like the twins better, is that when the twins play damage, it doesn't sound annoying. So maybe I'm being a little biased here. <laughs> that sound is very annoying. Now you can tell they don't have Eileen because you would have heard that sound if you did. So if my island does her awaken skill, it'll cancel out the awaken skills that my opponents are ready to do. Unfortunately, some of the get his instead, so you're not going to be able to see it get canceled out. Which is okay, because I don't, that's not a big deal to me. It's situational at best, to be honest. I mean, yeah, her awaken skill does other things, but I don't know. It might just be a matter of preference, to be perfectly honest. I'm gonna try to not be the hater and jump on the hate train that the Eileen gave from a lot of people. I'm gonna say that Eileen does have potential. Eileen put in some work in one of the previous fights. Like, she put in work. So, she has potential. But I think I would prefer the twins over Eileen. I think if my twins were level 46, my twins would probably be doing better than Eileen. Oh, 
stake. I will carry on the will of immortality. So this move right here basically would cancel anyone that had a radio awakened skill. And she did the finishing blow. So honestly, it might just be a matter of preference. Let's just be honest, this may just be a matter of preference, but I'm still gonna vote that I like the twins better. That's just gonna be me. That's my opinion on the matter. And um, we'll go ahead and do one more thing. Just to give you guys a little more content, I'm gonna show off something that I almost never do. The Celestial Tower. So basically, I have a setup that I use right now uh, where that's taking me all the way up from basically the 130s to 145. Uh, my current setup is uh, Neza and Delon's in the back. Uh, Delon's is really the main damage dealer. Um, Neza is really there for healing. Um, Evan is there more for defense. And uh, Spike is there to help with uh, the, you know, the debuff thing so you don't get debuffed really easy. And then Lena is also there for healing. Uh, so and removal of debuffs. And I'm gonna use another Delens as a backup. Uh, basically to boost up their physical attack. And uh, if my, my Delens dies, at least I have another Delens that can come in. Or if anyone else dies for that matter. So we're gonna test this out on floor 145 and see if we can get anywhere. We're gonna put in some extra content for you guys. Uh, so you can see what I actually do off screen. Silence. Now I'm not gonna promise I'm gonna win. It is difficult at these levels. <laughs> And this fight might take about 15 minutes, I'm not going to lie. And so it's going to poss possibly look a little bit boring. So basically I use Evan's shield and then I do uh, Lena's buff and to get our offense up. And then I do Delon's to just start one-shotting people or maybe two-shotting because these guys are too strong to be one-shotted. But you get the point. And then after Delon's does his move, then I just use everybody else as needed. Um, I use... The healing moves when my he my health is down to a certain like percent. Like right now, it would hurt to do a little healing just because that kind of healing will basically progress. Yeah, when when in Celestial Tower, if your opponent has a Lita, that makes your fight a lot harder. <laughs> a lot harder. But ideally you want to get your Delans uh, awakened as soon as possible. So that's really where he's going to start dealing damage. What do you want to do right now? As a matter of fact, he's the only awakened skill that I use in the first round. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to use Nuzzle to give us a little more healing. And then I'm going to have Delans try to one-shot people. You would rather be safe than sorry. Because even though it may look like I didn't need the healing, you'd be surprised. Sometimes I've made mistakes where I'm like, oh, I don't need any healing, and all of a sudden I lose like one or two people. And boom, Delon's with the kill. And now basically going forward, I'm just going to be doing random like AOE skills until Delon's can get back to where I want him to be. And there you go. Team one's done. <laughs> Vaughn. Yeah. Oh, we're getting that uh, right. offense up already. You ain't gonna one shot my people. That is not happening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And of course, Neza, with my Neza, I can uh, mess up their uh, team arrangement too, which could help, possibly. I mean, we assume that they have it set up a certain way for a reason. So if you can mess it up, that could be to your advantage. Sometimes it doesn't always work out because it is kind of random how to get set up. Alright, let's see if we can have one shot in. No, close though. Alright, we gotta do some healing after this because I know there's gonna be something that's gonna mess me up. Oh, that actually sucks a lot. Um, hopefully we don't die here. Alright, let's get some healing in. There we go. Yeah, I was a bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let me mess up your, uh, your cooldown. That's a big problem. You do not like that.
like I said, you cannot be too careful. I should be using Evan Shield, um, too, maybe to help with the defense a bit. And then we're gonna try to one shot with Dallins after this. I may end up healing before, we'll see. It depends on where our health is. You gotta pay it. I have to pay attention at least. I can't just auto play it and be cool. Like, I'm, I probably should be healing right now, but I kinda wanna try to kill someone. There we go. And then I'm gonna use Nez's ability uh, to heal us. Okay, good. So they didn't do like an offensive skill, so that's perfect. That works out wonderful. Okay, I'm not really upset about that. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> With all that just to die. <laughs> now the cool thing about when they mess up your uh, your cooldown is that it doesn't affect your um, it doesn't affect your awakening skills because they don't have a cooldown, so to speak. All right, I'm just getting some healing out of the way, and then I'm gonna actually just do other awakened skills. Just to kind of get them out of the way too, and then it won't be for one shot. Hopefully. Now, any chance that I get to heal, I will. But yeah, I, don't, I do my awakening skill at the third part because obviously that's the most difficult part to deal with. Uh, Dell's gonna try to hit someone. There we go. That's good. That's not good. Oh man, that's bad. I lost a healer. That's really bad. And now I was able to do that, I feel a little bit better, but that still sucks though from earlier. Ooh. Yeah, well, Awakened Dell is also being able to hit everybody, that just helps a lot. Let's have a grand time. You know, funny, that little screenshot is actually a screenshot of my Tartarus video. <laughs> just with her in a different outfit. Shield, so I'm gonna not use Dawn's ability. Because that would make no sense, so I won't do any damage. It's like one of those times I'm actually trying to concentrate. This is why I don't like the stream, because I would actually be like heavily trying to concentrate. I have to ignore all of you at this point. You know, there's no one that likes a streamer that doesn't communicate. At least that's what I've been hearing. I don't want to be one of those ones that gets talked about about that. Uh oh, something's happening here. I never used her awakening areas of awakening stuff. I don't know really what she just did there. I just assume it's bad. <laughs> I think I have I have everybody awakening, I think. But I just don't use everybody. <laughs> I'm hoping that my squad is good enough to get a win here. I'm, I'm not really confident that I'm going to win. I'm really hoping more than anything else. And now that I only have one way to actually heal, that makes this fight a lot more difficult. Like, if Neza dies, I will probably lose. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks bad. Because I was actually going to use Dallin to try to one-shot someone, and there goes a DPS, a major DPS here. Oh, that sucks bad. Alright, we're gonna go for some healing after this. Alright, I'm actually okay with some healing because I need to heal too. I mean, it does kind of suck too because I need to kind of start all over on the damage race, but... I mean, we were gonna die here pretty soon, so... I don't think I can kill you in one hit. Not with the position that that Dellinger is in. Oh. Yeah, this is gonna be a rough one. Like I said, in Celestial Tower, a lot of times timing is everything. 
Now, I'm sure there are better teams that other people use. This is just kind of my preference. Uh, if you have other teams you want to suggest for this mode, I'm um, definitely open to hearing suggestions and I can test them out. Who knows, I might make a Celestial Power video one day. I don't know, that might be kind of long and boring. I'm not too sure. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, I'm at the point right now where it's super close. Well, I killed someone, which helps. Oh no, I lost my healer. Alright, well, right now it's just a matter of offense. Like, I got one person- oh, wow. It's down to one on one. Can we- oh. oh. That sucks. So question, y'all, would y'all spend 58 Topaz to continue? <laughs> I am not doing that, but man, like, I was so close to getting the win there. But I kind of wanted to show this off, because this is actually kind of interesting, and it's really cool. I kind of, I never really, I don't think I've ever done Celestial Tower on video before, but uh, there's my team for Celestial Tower. You got to see Eileen, a little more of the twins, you know. Uh, if you got any opinions, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I know it's been kind of long. I've been trying to make, you know, decent content these days, showing off a variety of things. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Um, you know, also, if you like watching my channel, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see when my actual stuff is coming out, hit that notification bell. Also, keep in mind that we do have the OG podcast. This is with me, Handy Kill Cam, and Bezoid. It's on Twitch TV, on the Twitch channel, Handy Kill Cam. Wednesdays, it's 10 a.m. Central, so be there to hear lots of discussions about what's going on in the gaming industry. I'll be throwing a little bit of love to the mobile gaming as well. And uh, you know what? You know what? This is what I'm going to do for you guys. Uh, so speaking of uh, Net Marble, I, I'm going to I'm going to treat y'all to a little bit of a preview. Uh, hopefully, I'm allowed to do this. If not, I'm sure YouTube will just remove the video altogether. But uh, I kind of want to do something here. I want to check this out here. I think it's called Knights Chronicles. Yeah, there's this game that I'm going to be playing soon. I'm going to be making videos. It's going to be a new series. Yeah, check this out, guys. I actually pre-registered. I suggest you guys do so as well. There it is. Uh, let's go ahead and watch this video together. I, I really, really want us to, to check out this preview. Really hype about this game. This is a net marble game. I figured it's, you know, probably best to do this. I shouldn't get in trouble for playing this, it's on YouTube. I like the, uh, I'm really digging the actual music, uh, I'm digging the animated, the animation in general. I'm a big anime fan already. And this is from Netmarble, everybody. This is a new game coming out, Night Chronicles. Uh, I don't know the date, it's just sometime in the summer. Uh, if you pre-register, you get some free, you know, uh, benefits. I will be playing the game, I will be doing a demo, I will be actually doing a series of this game. Um, if I ever decide to stream, I may even stream again, but I'm not going to put my... I wouldn't put somebody on me streaming, I kind of like to take some videos, but um, I'm definitely going to make this a new project for me. And if you guys want to see this, just let me know. Um, but if you do decide to play this game, I am going to be making my own guild. Feel free to join my guild. Um, I don't know the name of the guild or anything like that. Um, and I'm assuming I'm going to be using... My username is going to have either Crunchstar in it or a big MCC. But there you go, Night Chronicle, it's Night's Chronicle, coming soon. So yeah, I'm really hype about this game. I hope that uh, you guys can play with me. If this version is play Fortnite, I think this would be a nice thing to do. I will be getting rid of that last game. I found it in a storage for a boat on Keyword Cloud. I was initially looking at other mobile markers to do this. So playing with two mobile markers and doing it at the same time is very difficult. I've tried to do it. 
kind of choose to go because usually one game ends up having to suffer because it's so focused on another. So we'll see. I mean, that's part of why I'm playing Seven Knights instead of, you know, Heroes Charge. You know, I, I got to a point where I couldn't, I didn't have time for both. Uh, but I do have a better schedule now, so we'll see if anything changes. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this uh, preview. Uh, well, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys take care, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Later, y'all.